Hey, do you like multiplication? Maybe. Uh, Is that okay? Yeah, it's cool. I like math. Cool. cool. Hey, integrated math three students. Think trainings are try losing. Oof. And it's now time for our world famous. It's time for game plans. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Frank. Game plans. Week number five, September seventh to September tenth, two thousand twenty-one. We are finishing up module eight point three, lesson three, analyzing population data. Same learning target as last week. Compare theoretical and ex experimental probabilities on lesson 8.3 and we'll get a chance to start on 8.4 and turn in your work i got game plans some room 902 news school news and week number five let's go to some school news and then we'll talk about some spirit week school news there's pretty much the same oh we gotta go take our pictures soon i need to go to the cba office as well on those times save those dates okay guys it is time for cva spirit week and um why are we doing this school spirit if you are a cva student which means all your classes are in cva periods 2a and 2b you will do four days are required to dress up i'm giving you <laughs> assignment points just for like dressing up and if you do a fifth day you do it the whole week i'm going to give you uh, extra credit. CVA e-learning, that's eighth period. Uh, every day you dress up and show me, I will give you guys an extra credit because you guys belong to other sites. So what are you going to do? You're going to make a copy of this whole presentation and then delete everything, but keep uh, slides uh, five and six. On the details here, go ahead and write your name. And then you're going to get a link. Make sure, again, you have to do this for all your Google documents. It's kind of annoying, I know, but share with anyone at UHSD, press copy, press done, and then you're going to turn it in. Click here. Brings you something like this, and you'll basically fill this out. And then you'll drop in your link at the last one. So here's my finished product. Monday is wear white. Tuesday, crazy hair day. Wednesday, school colors. Thursday, your favorite character. I don't know, I was just thinking like, well, I like basketball, so my son and I dressed up. And then fancy dress day, and I was wearing a tuxedo. So that is uh, assignment 5.4B. All right, I wanna make sure we understood our numbering system in class. So I have something called a module or a chapter. That is the red number here. We are in eight or finishing eight. The middle number is the lesson number. And this represents lesson three. And this would be example, like the book might have like five examples in that lesson. So if I go to 8.3, if you take a look here, that is module eight. Lesson three, this is the third example in there, okay? So uh, that's gonna come up. Our essential question is the same as last week. How can you compare theoretical, what should happen in theory, and experimental probabilities, like what would actually happen in real life? Last week, the week at a glance, I just wanna talk about um, some updates. Hopefully you saw the changes I made. Um, there's two things I added this week. I have extended it, meaning I didn't want you to do all that work. So 8.30 is the introduction. It's on page one of the Google document. So 8.3, um, red, orange, yellow, and green, they are all the same Google document. So I'm just kind of breaking it up for you. Now I'm telling you which page numbers, which might be helpful, uh, what it is. And I've also color coded it. So for example, on red, go to the very top it is this red section so that's what you should be completing until you get to the next color does that make sense and then a31 that's on pages two to three which is noted here at the bottom there's page two and there's the orange so you're supposed to do pages two and three 
Then 8.32, that's my suggestion of what you would do on Friday, last Friday. And then on Tuesday, you're finishing up 8.33, pages 5, 6, and 7, or 5 through 7. It's a longer one. Don't forget to wear your socks when you're cold. So um, that's page 5, 6, and 7. Remember, um, read the directions. I do tell you to skip one unless you need more examples. And then I also put in this right there. It says optional and there's a stop sign. You don't need to do all this. Okay, so um, YouTube it, Labor Day. We didn't have school because of Labor Day, so thank you for those who labor. Um, period A, e-learning. There was no class, so you're watching this week at a glance to help you get all the news and information. Uh, period 2A, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Wednesday, I call it a work day. That's just to catch up on everything. And I'll show you on the next slide what you need to turn in. And then Thursday is a big day, even though I don't see you, 5.4 is due. I'm also opening up quiz number one that's going to be assigned on Edulastic, and you'll have a whole week to get that done. So you can kind of make sure you have everything done to help you prepare for it. And then on Friday, um, this will turn blue. I'll release 8.4.1. Uh, Let's take a look at what's due on Thursday in the assignments. Okay, so first assignments are due this Friday. Click on that. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. And someone asked me, they're like, I uh, just need to basically sign up for Thrively, Khan Academy, and Elastic, submit the e-sign and my motivational quote, and I'm done. I said, yes. How about the bonus? I said, well, those questions will come up on quizzes, tests, and final exam. The Beehive, you should have already finished. Um, if you're new, I haven't graded it yet. You, um, so you still have some time. It's yellow because it's a warning. Hurry and get that done. And this is the one that's going to be due on Thursday. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. You can actually click anything that's a blue. Those are hyperlinks. So let's look at eCadence. Okay, so I am on period 8 CBA, but um, integrated math 3, but it's pretty much the same thing. So let's go to modules. I have period zero, uh, module zero and module eight. Open that up. We're here in week number five. Open that up. And because um, period eight did not meet this week because we had Monday and Wednesday off, um, I I listed this one because if you didn't know, every time you're gonna have like a weekly conference, just click on it so I can show you. You're always gonna have the Google Slide link right there. Everything I'm showing you is right there. This Zoom link for our classes is always the same. It's always the same. So, but I put that right there because that darn button does not work yet. Okay, so we're, you're gonna turn in your work. If you're done early, you can turn it in. And um, did I make this a, an assignment? Let's see what I did. Oh yes, I wanted to show you this. Okay, so here as a student, it's gonna look like this. And if you actually wanna start turning in press start assignment. Now, it's different on my side because I don't have student access, but I wanna show you this. I have two helps for you. We're not using turn it in, I'm just showing you how to turn it in. Here's help number one. This is a um, article by eCadence themselves, how to turn in assignments. And then help number two, I think um, this one might be a, I hope it's not the same. Um, it's one of them's a video, we'll show you. And then I also need to release my own video, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, how to combine PDFs. So basically PDFs are the best way to turn in your assignments. One big old PDF is the best way to turn in assignments. Let's show you what else was in that folder. And then quiz number one, it is not live, but basically you'll go to your Edulastic if you have not. Sign up for Edulastic, it's telling you where to go to get your links. And then I'm telling you that uh, I'm releasing it, so you can't click on it in Edulastic. It's not gonna open until Thursday, and it's due one week from then. And then these are the directions, okay? 
that's it. Hopefully we're starting to get into a groove. Train hard, guys. Win or lose, at least we can be proud that we trained hard. We'll see you guys later. Bye. I love math. The way the path goes on the graph. Power functions. Cause great discussion in the math class. Shall put no textbook before the math class. Functions real radical and very graphical. That's the way it goes in the math class. Some of the real bros.